We been in church. Gloomy day. We are heading to the supermarket, you guys. Just left the grocery store and now we're gonna get some dinner. We're gonna do pizza for dinner. So, got the plants in the back. Um, but I forgot to tell you guys how church was. Um, obviously it was good. Great word today. And let me just run through some of the points. So the message was like, don't play about me. That's what it was titled. Like God does not play about me. He does not play about his children. Let me turn on the air. One of the points was if you're not running into any opposition, chances are you're running towards the wrong goal. So basically what that means is if you're, say you're going through something in life and you are experiencing a lot of challenges, then it is okay like that is what the enemy wants the enemy wants you to feel like this isn't for me the enemy wants you to give up the enemy wants to challenge you and get you off course so just know if you are experiencing opposition this is a time for you to just give god the praise and just know like whatever the devil intends for evil god is working for your good so that's kind of what i got from it um so yeah life has its ups and downs you know whatever goals you're trying to get to if it comes easy then is it I don't want to say is it worth pursuing but is that is that normal for for God like something easy to be handed to you like that's that's not necessarily how God works like there has to be some type of challenge and something that's going to test your face in the midst of that I don't want to say always but yes like you're gonna have some opposition because the enemy knows like once you are on the path that God wants you on he's losing so he's gonna try in whatever in his power to get you off that course um, so yeah so if you never run into the enemy you may be walking in the direction with him we'll pick this up later y'all my husband just got in the car. We got the pizza. All right, you guys, back home. So I'm back home and I just wanted to finish off just some of the points today at church. Yeah, if you're not facing opposition, then you may be walking in the direction with the devil. Not saying that, you know, stuff can't be easy, that's from God, but when you do meet you know trials and all of that and you feel like there's just so much coming at you i think that's the time when you really just need to you know focus on god's word and what he promised you because the devil is working maybe he is working overtime to get you off course and get you off of what god has purpose for you and what his promises are to you um so the pastor had shared like if you're if you never run into the enemy you may be walking in the direction with him so if you're facing trials if you're facing roadblocks challenges count it all joy baby pretty much you know because it is going to be a testament to your faith and that is when you really need to just praise him spend more time in his word because baby one thing about the devil when he knows you have God on your side when you when he knows you know who you belong to when you he knows you know the God that you serve you know who your creator is he he doesn't have any ground to stand on just simple so also there is an anointing on your life okay God has called each of each and every one of us for a purpose we all serve a purpose on this earth so it, it it's 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 in you it's within you and god has a purpose for you he knew you before you were even created when you were in your mother's womb okay he knew you and he has a purpose that is bigger than any goals dreams aspirations that you have his thoughts are bigger than our thoughts his ways are better than our ways so just trust in that and walk into that if you're going to live a life of purpose um 
I, I forgot I was gonna write something but I forgot but basically if you're gonna live a life of purpose just know that opposition is going to you know be there so especially as a Christian life isn't gonna be easy like that being a believer you know separating your yourself from things of this earth um, it's hard you're gonna face a lot of challenges you're gonna you know question yourself at times and that's the devil um so just know it, it's it's not easy opposition is an indication that you are on the right track okay um so there were three points so god conversations bring heat so when you're talking about god maybe the devil the devil the devil knows um and god favors you okay so his word is above any other word his word is just not of course the devil doesn't want you to call on the one that he's the only one that can can you know strengthen you in this time he's the only one that can deliver you from what you're going through so the devil the devil doesn't want that humility is a must in the face of opposition always being humble um coming to god humbly tr being humble just in itself with every person that you encounter um and just know your god does not play about you okay he does not play about you sis okay god says the the, the righteous are bold as lions so whatever you do you be bold you be courageous don't let anxiety don't let fear self-doubt you know what people said about you what your parents may have said about you listen your god doesn't play about you that's just it mic drop <laughs> um yeah so i just wanted to break down what i got um what the lesson was about in church today because i haven't done that in a while and i know someone let me not say a lot of people commented because y'all know we still we still grown over here but someone did comment and was like they did like the um like church segments so just breaking down what i learned in church and stuff so i want to do more of that um so okay i've been talking for a while so i'm gonna go I gotta do my devotional, so I'm gonna do that. And I hope you all have a blessed and wonderful day. It's Sunday and I'm gonna edit. I'm gonna get cozy, so. I didn't show you guys what I wore today, but it's really nothing special. I'm not even, I'm not even happy about this outfit. Like I had this buttoned up, but yeah, that was it. Nothing crazy and then I wore my Sambas, so. And that is a church fit, it's just a long, I think this is from Forever 21. Mm -hmm. And these jeans are Levi's. And this bandu top is from H&M. And of course, I have my church linked down below as usual. So definitely check them out. Um, you don't have to live in the DMP area. You can watch online as well. So... Welcome to another vlog. We're going into the office. I am running late, so I gotta go. But see you later. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. Welcome to another work week in my life, taking you along from nine to five. And yeah, if you're a returning subscriber, so happy to have you. And it's raining, so yeah. Let's go. Perfume of the day. This is the Mix Bar Vanilla from Target. Feeling nervous. For lunch, I'm just having my other foot long, my other six inch from Subway. And this is just what I put my lunch in. Just this black bag. Sauce. And let's fill our Hydro Peak up with some water. And then we can head out. Ugh. And it is raining, so I'm wearing boots today, y'all. I'm gonna do these brown boots. So, 
I'm going to show you all my outfit. Let's see if I can show you all my outfit really quickly. I gotta replace my battery. So, this is. About to do our morning devotional. Does he have another, another, another color on? No black. And what's the only color that? Oh my gosh, it's October 1st. Happy October 1st. It's October 1st. Hey guys, <clears throat> I am about to go on a quick a work meeting. That's why I'm in like this room or phone booth. So yeah. I'm just getting some work done. Just got off my call, so. All right, you guys, I am in the car, obviously. So, left work, and yeah, now we're getting dinner. I feel like I'm always eating out. I feel like, yeah, we got food yesterday. Did I film that? No, but for dinner we got like Subway and Popeyes. And today we're getting Chinese food. It's just easier on the days that like I go into the office to just get takeout, get food or whatever. It's not the best option, but listen, groceries are expensive, everything expensive. Inflation, everything is like damn near. <laughs> but yeah, um, no, but we just need to go grocery shopping because literally there is no groceries in the house and yeah. But like days like this when I go into the office, there's no cooking going on. I don't even like to cook, honestly. So, yeah. <laughs> that's that um today was good at work it's been very like light so i am just grateful i'm thanking god for just this not necessarily downtime but it's not so chaotic like i feel like i can breathe i feel like hey i can actually like get off work at 5 30 and like have accomplished so much like it just feels so good and i just hope it stays that way <laughs> for a long time because we have not had this in so long. I cannot even remember the last time it's been like just kind of like stress-free, easy, and a normal workload. So I'm very excited about that. That's what we're doing right now and I'll just check in when I get home. I actually have, we actually have, my husband and I, our marriage group today at the church that I signed us up for. He's not too thrilled about it, but he'll be okay. Um, it's called like After the Altar, so yeah, we're doing that. That's at six. It's 5.44 right now, so I'm literally just gonna get in the house and just kind of change out of my work clothes and hop on Zoom. Thankfully it's virtual because yeah, I would not be doing an in-person group meeting, but yeah. So that is what I'm doing, gonna do when I get inside. I'm gonna eat, I'm gonna eat. I got some shrimp and broccoli, so I'll show you all that, but yeah. I don't know if I did a proper intro because I know I was Russian, but yeah, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, would love to have you a part of the channel as I try to grow my YouTube channel. I do everything, work weeks in my life, nine to five, working in the corporate office. I work in the HR space in DC. I also do life in my 30s, taking you along my 30s, navigating that. So I'll leave a card here and yeah. You guys, my birthday is next week. That's crazy. That's crazy. That's crazy. 
like I got so like 30 was such like a milestone obviously but like now I'm gonna say I'm 31 31 something about that is just real real grown I don't feel as grown as my age which is crazy like I still feel like a little kid not a little kid but not a little kid because we got grown adult bills over here so definitely nothing little kid but I just still feel like young but 31 is young still don't come for me if you, if you think otherwise and think I'm an auntie I'm a cool auntie you know what I'm saying okay <laughs> but why did I take this out my lips are dry but yeah it's just my makeup pouch all right i'm gonna stop yapping but make sure to hit that subscribe button i post weekly videos and i've been doing real good like ever since i've been taking youtube seriously your girl's been posting a video every week <laughs> a video every week baby that's what i'm talking about so i'll see you all when i get in the house got the food got the food I'm starving. So the marriage group thing is at 6.30. So it's 6.22. So I'm going to try to eat something before it starts because I'm hungry. The girl has got to eat, okay? Shrimp and broccoli and white rice. I'm just gonna, oh, we don't have any plastic plates. <laughs> we don't have any plastic plates. That is annoying because I don't want to wash dishes either. Let me see if we have any. No plastic plates. Okay. Me having to wash a plate isn't the end of the world. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so tired. And then I actually have to go to like a career fair tomorrow. So I'm gonna vlog that. So it's kind of like two days in the office, kind of. So I'm drained. But I'm not going into the office, but I have to like get ready, go in front of people, you know. Y'all, Chinese food is not like everything is so expensive now because why was this $38? $38 for some food, two orders, granted. <clears throat> granted, we got large, and then he got like three pe three pieces of chicken is $6.15, $6.15. Back in the day, what, especially in New York, you could get wings and fries for $5 and a drink. Three pieces of chicken? For 6.15, no side, nothing. Mm. <sighs> Ugh, just ghetto, so crazy. Um, so I'm just letting my food heat up and then I'm about to go on the marriage, the marriage group class. And yeah, I was just thinking about it. I'm like, what would you all prefer? Comment down below. Would you prefer, if you could choose to have either a maid to clean your house, a private chef, hold on y'all, okay, I'm back. Um, a maid, a private chef, or a driver? Comment down below what your preference would be. And the maid, they're just, he or she's just cleaning your house, making sure your house is clean, your, yeah, your space is clean. So you always have a clean space or a chef who can just make you whatever it is that you want, all the things, or a driver to drive you anywhere, drive you around. Honestly, I'll go for a chef. I'll do the cleaning, I'll do all that. But the cooking, I'm gonna like being out of kitchen. <laughs> and I'm not like the best cook, so a chef. I hate driving, I'm, I, I hate driving. Like 30 minutes max is like my sweet spot. Anything over 30 minutes is just like, really? 
why would I be going that far? Um, like, but mm -mm. a chef all day, every day. <laughs> so let me know what y'all would like choose. All right, so it's 6.31, I'm about to hop on Skylar. Skylar, can you all see her? Hey mama, you wanna say hi? Um, here's my food. Yum, 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 yum. The rice looks a little like smushy. Y'all know when y'all rice is like too, too soft, six together, it's given that. Oh, all right, girl. All right, you guys, I will see you all in the next clip, maybe tomorrow, but yeah. God, you call me by my name. The love you give me, I just can't deny. Yeah. No longer blinded, I can see you. I'm on my way to make All right, you guys, it's a new day. It's Wednesday, so I am all dressed. I am actually going to a career fair today. I think I mentioned that yesterday. So everything is H&M, blazer, top, these like black slacks. Um, so yeah, I just have my hair like a little straightened, but yeah, I just washed it and blow dried it the other day, dyed it, so it's just kind of like air drying. Um, so it's like in the natural state. Um, so yeah, my friend, my coworker slash friend is going to meet me at my house so we can head over to the school. This is probably her. Okay, she's running late. Okay, so um, where we're going, where I'm going is to my alma mater. Um, so where I went to get my master's. So that's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, fragrance of the day is this Gucci Guilty. So let's spray that. Mm. Smells so good. And I'm just going to do like one of my roll-ons. Okay, I gotta figure out what shoes I'm gonna wear because I actually don't know. I wanna wear flats. I don't wanna wear anything with like a heel, a kitten heel because we're gonna be standing all day. It's from one to four, so not too bad. I've been to career fairs that are so much longer, like from nine to five, so I'm happy with the three hours. <sighs> For shoes, I don't wanna wear anything with a heel, so I'm thinking this to kind of go with my blazer or just black. So I'm gonna try these on and see what it looks like. Can you all see it? I got a lotion in my foot. Like I'm just gonna do the black. So yeah, this bag, which is also from H&M. I got this like years ago. And yeah, this is my everyday work bag. So yeah, I'm just gonna get that closed and then we'll head downstairs. So I'll see you all soon. Hey guys, so I got some black girl vitamins. So as you all know, like I don't really, you, you probably don't know this cause I don't vlog everything, but I don't take vitamins and this is something that I've always wanted to do. I just didn't know where to start. Honestly, like at this big age, I need to do better. Um, so. I'm so excited to just like try these out. So this one is the hair, skin, and nails for healthy hair, skin, nails, which I need all of that. You all know I'm having troubles with my skin. Also with like my hair, um, my natural hair, I'm trying to like grow back my edges because girl, I don't know what I was doing, but I was, I was doing my edges dirty. So I hope this can help and just help to have like thicker hair because my hair is very thin. And nails, you know, I can always use some help in the nails department. I'm a press on girly now, so just keeping my natural nails healthy. And then I got some D3, vitamin D3. And honestly, I don't even know like what this does, so I have to do some research 
but I know it's good for you, so I wanted that. Another thing I got was this collagen powder. Love the bag, like how cute. Oh my goodness, I'm definitely gonna like use this as like a makeup or, you know, just like a, it's a cute baggie you can just throw in your bag. So I'll have all the links down below, but I'll definitely keep you all updated. This pamphlet. And this is just perfect because this is literally a, you know, brand for black girls, black women. So how can you not be excited? Increase energy levels, boost immune system, fuller hair, stronger nails, slow down signs of aging, which I need because your girl's about to be 31 in about a week. Is it a week? It's less than a week. Oh my gosh. Is it? It's less than a week. Y'all, I got used to saying, oh, I'm 30. Now I'm gonna say, oh, I'm 31. Ooh, it sounds so grown, baby, sounds so grown. I'm being dramatic, it's, listen, your 30s to me, I love it. I love it, I just feel so mature. I just feel like a grown woman. You know, like in my 20s, I was a little lost. I was trying to figure things out. I graduated, I didn't know what was next life I'm like I'm so used to school and just <sighs> 20s is just I feel like my 20s I just felt like it was all over the place it was a little ghetto I was lost I was confused now my 30s I feel like I'm coming into the woman that I've always wanted to be I'm growing up I have more wisdom I'm more financially stable I'm getting closer with God like so the 30s is looking good on your girl, okay? I love it, but yeah. Okay, I don't know why I just went on a whole rant about my age. <laughs> okay, so this is the collagen powder and the packaging is so cute, so cute. Like this, I can leave out in my kitchen and not be like, okay, that gotta hide. We gotta put that in a cabinet. These could be out. It's It, it goes with the aesthetic, it goes with the vibe. So love the packaging, even though that's not, <laughs> It's not really important, but you know, it's good. Especially since this is something I'm gonna start doing in my routine, I wanna make sure that I don't forget because I honestly, I don't take vitamins. It's something that I wanted to do and just get better at. Like I've took vitamins before, but I've never been consistent. So this is something that I'm gonna wheel into my routine. So being able to just like have it out in my kitchen, you know, is good. So I don't forget to take it because that's one thing I'll forget for sure. Okay, I know collagen is just, just good for you overall, like, yeah, for you to, you know, help with aging, all of that, so I'm excited. So I'm gonna, I think you take two, um, two gummies daily. Yep, so we're gonna take two, got my water. It smells like a fruit snack. It smells like a fruit snack. I just, yeah, I'm very, like I'm a, I'm a type of person, like I don't like medicine. I am like a baby, so when I have to take medicine, I act like I'm taking a shot. It's so disgusting to me, so hopefully these, you know, don't have like that medicine taste. These are good. I can mess with this. I love that very chewy but it doesn't have like a na nasty like medicine taste so thank god because whoo i'm such a baby when it comes to like medicine you can't take it i'm not like it don't like it at all no if your number isn't saved and you call me nine times out of ten i am not answering the phone actually ten times out of ten i'm not answering the phone at all. Okay, so this is the hair, skin, and nails. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I feel so grown. Like, I feel like a grown woman. I'm taking her vitamins, building a routine. We love that. So y'all, if you watch my videos and you see 
if i don't feel me like taking these vitamins comment please hold me accountable and be like girl did you take your vitamins today did you take your vitamins today ma'am because one thing i'm gonna do is forget so i'm gonna leave these out i'm not gonna put this in the pantry because i really want to be consistent and just keep you guys updated on how things are going if i see you know a difference in my energy my skin my hair my nails all the things i'll probably do this later matter of fact i'm just gonna put it in my water let's do it let's do it now babes let's do it now and i just mix it up more but it's not bad it doesn't really like taste like anything it's just Gotta mix it up so it's not like lumpy. <clears throat> okay, you guys, so I'm still, my coworker should be here soon. So I'm just gonna get ready to head out and I'll try to vlog as much as I can, but it's, I'll be working so I can't really vlog much, but you guys are coming along with me. That was not aggressive. Fire doing Bible study to, right now. If we're still in the infant stage, human wisdom. So Bible we'll kind of like go about. It's the next day. It's Thursday, and I was a bad vlogger yesterday. Like I don't even know what the last thing was that I vlogged. Um, I think I got a little clip of me doing my Bible study. So after I couldn't really vlog at the work event. It was just too much going on. So I didn't get to vlog anything there. But after that, that ended around like four came back home my friend co-worker we had a little like girls day had a little watch party for love is blind so we watched that so i didn't really vlog after that i had like my bible study at eight so did that so that was yesterday so now it's today skylar says hi my co-worker i'm just working i'm working from the couch today because it's a pretty light day i had two meetings three three meetings and well actually two meetings really so that was it i had i made some boiled eggs for breakfast i need to take my vitamins because i haven't done that so i need to do that drink my tea did my morning devotional all the things so that's where we're at i'm just i listen to the bible my audio bible so now i'm watching like youtube i change into my pajamas because your girl's working from home, so why not? Anyways, I'll vlog when I go on lunch and I take Skylar out and we go for a walk. So I'll see you guys soon. Some avocado ranch. That is gonna be for dinner. We're gonna cook today. We're gonna cook. No eating out. And a burrito from Costco. She got it. Friday night obviously it's dark um so I just wanted to close the vlog out I'm actually about to go to dinner drinks um drinks really with a new friend so if you're interested in like seeing what I do outside of working like my nine to five and all of that definitely check out my life in my 30s diaries i'll leave like the playlist and stuff here or a card um so yeah definitely check that out if you're interested in just seeing you know my life outside of work what i be getting up to and stuff so yeah so i'm gonna end the vlog off and vlog my weekend and all of that on my life in my 30s diaries vlog so yeah just wanted to end the vlog so yeah if you're new make sure to subscribe would love to have you part of the channel and if you are a returning subscriber thank you all so much for your support it means so much to me and i love you so much and i'll see you all in my next video thanks so much for watching